you know what I'm thinking about? <clears throat> I'm thinking about a new heaven and a new earth. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. A new heaven and a new earth. And how important I do think it is for us to actually spend time envisioning that. Yeah. Absolutely. Collectively, without, uh, you know, in, in, in that way, <laughs> that isn't too controlling. Like, I need my new heaven and my new earth to look <laughs> this way and be like this. Not like that, but, but spend time actually envisioning um, a higher consciousness for humanity and yeah. envisioning uh, love, unconditional love available for, for us all, envisioning a new condition and a new outcome collectively together. Because what happens is when we join our consciousnesses in this way, we create an, a literal energetic pattern. And really you could call this a grid. And this grid is emitting frequencies. This grid in and of itself is magnetic. And the more we, well, I would say feed it, but the more we send our energy into it and continue to create it, the more this frequency grows and it becomes stronger and more magnetic, meaning we are more attracted to it and it's attracting more souls, more consciousnesses to it, the more we envision it. This is why it's so important. And Goddard talked about this so often. He said, don't indulge your negative ways of thinking. Now here, I, I want to say, of course, it's human to have negative thoughts mm -hmm. and it's human to have depressions, but there's a difference between having the thought and indulging the thought. Mm -hmm. And what too many of us do is kind of this lazy type of spirituality where we say, I believe this, this is what I want, but we actually don't, we don't line up in terms of our actions with doing that. We're not minding the fertile ground of our thoughts. And what are we envisioning? What are we creating? What are we manifesting? And what would happen if we collectively joined our intentions to create this new heaven, this new earth, which has a grid structure, which becomes stronger and stronger and now magnetizes other consciousnesses, other beings to it so that we can accelerate the creation of it in 3D reality. I think this is a powerful thing that we can do. And too many of us we're too caught up, though, in our day-to-day -day lives. And oh my God, we're quarantined. Where's my quarantini? My quarantini. Uh, so I can watch my Fox and my CNN and get sauced over and here. Get, and get mad. Get mad at <laughs> everybody start else start indulging doing it wrong. all mm -hmm. these lower vibrational thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, too many of us are doing that. Um, even spiritual people, we can get caught up in, in doing some of that. And this is where we have to pivot away. What are you wanting to create? What are you wanting to, where are you wanting to shine your light? What are you wanting to do with all this good stuff that you have? Those are the questions that we need to be asking as light workers. You actually, you said, you, you stopped yourself. You said, well, I mean, not feed it, but I actually say, yes, feed it because it is that old parable about the mm -hmm. wolf you feed. Oh, every yes. man is, Yeah. Right. Every man has inside him one wolf that is this way and wolf that is that way. Which wolf is going to win? The wolf you feed. And so the wolf that is, that is fed with our um, blame and shame and our, dis, it, while, it's, while it's valid, you know, to see and say that this, this politician and these people should not be doing this, that, and the other thing, it's valid, it's, uh, it's accurate, but we let that be the catalyst to the moving toward them. We let the moving away from energy, just that 1% of it, be then the moving toward, and then we feed that higher vision of the new heaven and the new earth. We let the old, the old earth and the old world be the what we're moving away from for a moment, and then we point direct, it's like the repentance. Repent means to turn away from. So we mm -hmm. let that be our repentance, and then we move toward and feed that wolf of that high vision. Yes, it's it's just a mirror that's pointing us in the direction that we truly want to go, but we we can't get caught up in in looking at that bad wolf, if you will, or indulging that bad wolf or feeding that bad wolf because then we just whatever we feed, whatever we focus upon is what grows. Yep. That's just the the law Again, and the profits. Yeah, that's how it works. Energy is literal. <laughs> yeah, it, it truly and, and energy is transferable, and where in, you can actually transfer your intention and you can transfer your desire and you can transfer your light into different outcomes if that is what you want to do. Yes.